Yes, hello, uh, this is Gaming Bear, and I recently got a, a request for the last video I made, the handwritten intro. So, I got this question by, I don't know what his name is, hard to pronounce, I think, instrumental, yay. Uh, but, if you haven't seen it, it's this video, it's kind of a handwritten intro, that is clean and simple, I thought. So, yeah, and I'm just going to teach you how to make this handwriting effect. Um, yeah, and quickly go over the the project file or what I did. So first, we have the main composition. Here, um, I actually did all the text animation from beginning to start and camera animation with a null object and a camera and uh, and I also added some reflections that was actually just to select original text and just rotate it uh, 180 degrees I think no, I did it over here yeah minus 180 degrees in the eye, eye rotation okay then I um, made a new composition uh, and put it put the original composition into this composition to just do some final touches like color correction some uh, uh, radio and sound so but I'm going to teach you how to do this uh, writing effect so let's just start a new project okay so here we are started really clean and simple with a totally new project so uh, I just create a new composition to begin with. I like to have it on 720 to 1280. That's Heiji uh, on YouTube and stuff. So let's just keep it at that way. Uh, okay. Just click OK. Um, now, if we're going to do, we can just add a background. It can be any color, solid. Then we're going to go to generate, ramp and go to radial ramp put one in the middle and then you put the other one like a little bit away like here or something and make this like really bright and make this kind of dark darkish maybe like this i don't know just have to play around with this of course Okay, that looks okay, just for our normal background. So now, uh, let's just add a text. We're just going to take a pretty normal text, so I don't need, it's pretty complicated if you add a text like this, like I did. Uh, I'm going to explain some problems. Oops. Some problems if you choose this text, as I... As I did, I got some problems while, because I chose this text. Okay, so... Now I just got some normal letters, and this is really tricky to kind of play around with because it is so it is so um, tricky to because we're going to mask all this. We're going to mask every single line in this, so we can animate it later with a, a effect or a plugin. So I wouldn't be choosing this a font as I did because the problem is if you see here at the beginning. Okay, you can see that when it's writing at the beginning here, when it goes like this, it will actually it will actually show this line before it actually starts. Oh no, 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 not this line. But when I okay, because it begins to animate right here, goes up, up, and when it is here, it actually begins to animate this part. So you're kind of writing two letters together at the same time. That's not right, right? So it's pretty hard to have uh, to animate letters that is actually touching each other. So I wouldn't do that if I were you. So I'm just going to choose a simple text like I don't know, like this maybe. I don't know, something simple and stuff. But if you want to challenge yourself, you can choose the other uh, some uh, other fonts that is a bit trickier. So, I just uh, write gaming bear, I don't know, 
Okay, so we got simple text, simple background. And now what we're going to do is actually add the effect. So go to effect, go to generate, and then stroke. They're all also right on, but I like to use strokes. And yep. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to simply uh, mask every single letter. It doesn't need to be so precise, actually. It doesn't matter. So bad. Then you just click another place like this. And that. And then we'll go back again. And do it in the next letter. Okay. And then we're just going to continue with this over to the end. And you can now skip a uh, few minutes or something, I think, as it's going to take a little while. Oops. Okay, then we're done. So now we have mask everything. And what we're going to do now is click all mask. Then we're going to take a reveal original image. So, then uh, you can now see that it is pretty well fucked up. <laughs> to be precisely. Uh, that's okay. That's alright. It's gonna budge. Okay. So, uh, I just have to think a bit. Uh, wait. Yeah, oh, of course, what am I thinking? Now what we're going to do is, you can see now that it's really ugly to be precisely. Okay, so what we're going to do is kind of increase the brush size. So it, it, um, so it will be like the same size. Oops, that's wrong. It kind of looked like uh, the other text. Of course, you can come in and uh, again with a. Uh, with uh, the mask and, and uh, tweak it, but you can choose that. Alright, looks okay. So now, look at this. Now it looks okay, right? Okay, so if we go backwards now. Right, so now we're all got all ready to set and go. So, what we can do now is actually just animate the end 
So we take like uh, make a key. If you just click U, you can actually see all the keyframes you made. So cl just click you, click this, and then click U. The yep, click U, and then maybe click like six seconds or something. I don't know. You can choose it, and then just animate it. And then when we just render it, you will see that it's actually animating the letters, like it's writing it. Of course. You can see here that it's uh, that it tweaks or it bugged up a little bit, and that is because I didn't do it precisely enough, so it kind of go went into each other. But it's just a tweak and tweak if you want it perfect. Perfect. You can see the same mistake here, and there, and there. <laughs> so here we go. There we got it. And then of course you add some cool. May may take another font, take it a little bit slower, and do something like that, and you can get something with like this. End up, I mean. Yep. So uh, thank you for watching. This was Gaming Bear, and please, please make some other suggestions. I like to make tutorials. And sorry for my bad English. <laughs> I kind of messed up a bit, but I I'm le still learning, so. We get on with it. Thank you for watching. See you later.